Hi, I'm here with the new model from Yamaha, the CK88, and there's also a CK61, a shorter version. Come down to YML on Wardour Street and check it out. So what I've got here is the CK88 from Yamaha. It's the new stage piano. So it's kind of sitting underneath the, um, the CP range and the YC. It's kind of like the little brother of those. Or you could sort of argue that it's like the big, big brother of the Reface series. It's great for your, your pianos, your electric pianos, your organs, so it's got like draw bars, um, and all these sort of classic sounds that you might play in a band. But then also, being a Yamaha, you've got things like guitars, brass, all the synth leads and strings and pads. So everything you might need really for the studio or the stage as it's called. Um, so this is a new model uh, and there's some actual features on here that are very different to anything else that's come out. So for example, it's got built-in speakers and it could also run on, uh, on batteries as well, like AA batteries. So it's a real first for like portability and usability where you can just turn up anywhere. You can turn up into a field and just you know, play the piano. Um, other things on here that's new is like you can actually play Bluetooth through it, for example, and you can actually have backing tracks running very easily, which I'll show you uh, in a minute. Um, so it, it works kind of similarly to the CP, where you've got three sections which you can turn on and off. And these are our A, B and C. And if we turn it on, then you can choose piano, and then you can spin through some of the pianos, and there's a, a ton of different pianos in, pianos in here, like the CFX, the big grand piano, or the U1, which is a lovely upright sample. Um, and then moving on, you've got your Tyne and your Reed electric pianos from like the 70s, uh, for example. Those sort of sounds. And then again, organ, and this is great because you've got the draw bars. Um, so this is actually uh, going, it's like organ flutes. So it's AWM2, unlike the, the YC, which is um, VCM. But you've got some great sounds where you can pull out the draw bars and actually get the different harmonics. And then obviously chuck that through a rotary speaker and you start getting that classic. Classic sound that we all know. And then moving on, you've got your brass sections and stuff, uh, some lovely guitars. And then strings and stuff. So that's this section here. And what you can do is you can actually layer them up so you can have three layers at once, but they can either sit on top of each other or you can actually separate them as well. And you can have your own split points and you can have like A, B and C, or you can have like A and B and C on top of each other. So that's quite a neat, uh, neat function. Um, also, so as we're looking at it, we've got the three sections, which we can choose separately. And then as you move down, you then move into like the effects. So you've got stuff like cutoff and resonance. You've got like an envelope here as well, which you can change the attack, for example, for the strings. You can have like lovely strings that just take a while to come in or like an immediate attack. And then you've got like a, uh, um, an amp simulator. So you can have drive, either the rotary speaker that we used on the organ earlier, or like an overdrive and stuff. So overdrive is great on, let's get an electric piano. Chuck a bit of overdrive on, and we can have a... Get that sort of breaking up of sound, which, like it's going through uh, a guitar amp. Um, and then moving on again, we've got another two insert effects. And these are completely separate for each of the sections. So uh, as you can see, I'm yellow at the moment over here. But if I go to B, then these turn blue. If I don't go to C, they turn green. And that means that I can be, have a, uh, say, a chorus on A, and then I can have a phaser on B, and whatever you might want. And it's really neat. And that's so, uh, quite um, very powerful, really. And then moving on, we've got a couple over here, which are like overall master effects, like a delay. <laughs> and a reverb. So, yeah, we've already looked at some of the things that, that sort of set this apart, really, from the CP, but the sounds are all still there. So, for example, let's go and have a look at the pianos. We've got the lovely, um, like, CFX. There's actually one just out there. I was chatting earlier. It's 150 grand, so... So a big, big grand piano, I think it's like nine foot or something. And then just to like contrast that, let's go and find the upright. So the U1, which is I think the, uh, the most popular selling piano in the world. Um,
It feels much more homely. Um, it's actually slightly out of tune as well, which I love. And in fact, we can actually go even further. We can make it slightly honky tonk by bringing you on unison and. Um, and then moving on, obviously being a Yamaha, we've also got the, the uh, samples for the CP80, which was like a um, it was like a hybrid electric piano uh, back in early 80s, I think. And this has been used on like tons of things like Elton John and uh, Keen use it on all of, on their album. And this sound actually lends itself really well to putting a, um, a chorus on or different effects. Much, you, know, you don't really put them on real piano necessarily, but on this, let's chuck a chorus on it. If I take that off. You get that width and that's that like huge sound from the other uh, chorus there. Um, moving on. The electric pianos so these are really great and what this one does really well like the cp for me it's about that that bite that you can get from it so you can be playing so you can play you know, really beautiful but then put a bit of drive on put of amp simulation and we are into this Yeah, real, real bite there. So that's your um, your timed one. And then if we go on, we can get the reeds as well, which is gonna be that super tramp type sound. So. And again, this one lends itself great to, let's put a, um, a tremolo on that. Sort of 70s sound there. Um, okay, let's go in, into the organ here. And so there's a bunch of different um, sort of models here that we can go through. There's, so there's five initial ones which work with the draw drawbars really well. So you've got your your harmonics here, and with these um, with these organs, it's great to go through the rotary speaker, which gives you that that width and that um, stereo field. And I can start driving that as well. So we go from... So we're just driving that uh, rotary speaker there, getting that bit of uh, break up. And this is sort of a very useful sound from the church to gospel to a lot of, um, you know, a lot of pop stuff has it in the background, like, um, you know, Bleeding Love by Leona Lewis starts with. And then moving through, obviously you've got the brass stuff and guitars we've already looked at. Some lovely string sections. And we looked earlier, uh, briefly at the cutoff as well. So these, this is gonna be really handy for some things like strings where we can have a beautiful pad now by just rolling off some of that top. And obviously we can put that on the foot pedal, for example. Uh, and then pads, I think there's about 50 pad sounds in here, um, 65. So lots of uh, options there. So you could stick like a um, electric piano behind it. And obviously we've got individual uh, volumes as well for each of the sections. And so, but like the CP and like the YC, it's so powerful. And what we can do is we can put a foot pedal and we can say that football can control anything you want. So you can say, I want to control just volume A or I want to control the whole volume, or I want to just control the cutoff on, on B. And it's really, um, really powerful and really uh, intuitive, but also um, musical. So what you can do is, is you can actually choose the lowest point as well. So you, rather than going from zero, so no volume, all the way up to 127, you can actually say as well, I want my pedal just to go just down to 50 and just up to 100. So you've, you've got like all that pedal movement for a smaller uh, sort of change in volume. And that could be really neat and uh, a lovely musical way of, of um, using the instrument. Um, so we did 
briefly talk about as well um, some of the differences that make this new. One of the things is it's got internal speakers, which I can turn on and off here. Um, the battery, which is pretty cool. Bluetooth, um, so you can send like a backing track from your phone or your computer. But you can also um, put in your own backing tracks. So say you've got something at the studio or you're doing a pub gig and you want to go, right, uh, first song is Angels by Robbie Williams. I can get my pianos ready and I can hit the top note or the bottom notes and my backing track starts and I'm away, so sort of. So you can sort of play like that, it's pretty cool. And that was a, um, a one-shot thing. So every time I press it, the whole thing would run. But you can also do, for example, um, let's go, uh, like for this one, for example, I've got it on a stop-start thing. So I could be, Actually, you can't really mention Yamaha without talking about the DX sounds as well. So that sound there is the classic DX7 type um, electric piano. Uh, and there's a whole bunch in here. But... And again, these lend themselves really well. So there's a button on here called Unison, which means that I think um, every note at a time, if I play like one A, that's just one version of A. When you turn on Unison, there might be a four different A's being played that are just slightly out of tune and you get that chorus, that width. As opposed to... Both are nice, but this is... And we can add, say, some chorus as well. And let's add some reverb. And we start getting into that. Turn those off and you hear the difference. So whenever you look at these sounds, it's like, you know, you think that there's like, a, what did I said, like 60 odd pad sounds or, or however many pianos we've got in here. But really that's just the starting point because you can get that piano and you can uh, run it through a compressor and all of a sudden you've got a completely different sound. So let's go, here's my uh, piano. And if I go like this and I chuck it through a compressor and whack that up. All of a sudden we've got like a quite a poppy um, piano sort of uh, sort of stuff. So one of the great things about the CK series is actually the weight. So for example, this, um, the 88, it's coming at 13 kilos, 13.1 kilos, which is nothing really for an 88 uh, like keyboard with, with a piano feel and inbuilt speakers and stuff. And the little one, the, um, the 61, is coming in at just over five kilos, so 5.6 kilos, um, which is crazy light. And you can get optional bags as well. And the little, uh, the little one here, the bag has like um, a rucksack thing, so you can actually put it on your back and ride a bike to work you know, with it. And the big one is it's got wheels on it as well, so that's pretty cool. Even though it's only 13 kilos, you can still just drag it behind you. Yeah, so the CK series, CK88 and the CK61. So if you can, come down and check them out at YML London.